Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, kindergarten. How are you doing today? Well, I'm very glad to be back here. I hope you are enjoying the videos you've seen so far. Um, today we're going to do two things instead of only one. I'm going to read you a story and we're going to talk about it. And then we're also going to do a quick phonics review, you know, when we blend in segment words. Now, if you remember, blending is when we put sounds together to create a word. And segmenting is when we take the sounds in a word apart to identify them on their own. But we'll get to that in just a minute. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the story, We Are Growing. Now, looking at the cover and hearing the title, I want you to decide what you think this story might be about. You might notice up here, there's two friends that we know very well in the corner. So that could give you a hint. I think looking at this story that it's about grass growing up and living a really, really happy life. And then I see a lawnmower. Hmm, I wonder what that means. This story is by Lori Keller. Lori Keller also wrote all of our elephant and piggy books that we've read in the past. So let's go ahead and begin. Look, some friends joined us at the beginning. It says, Piggy, look at this new book. It is as exciting as watching grass grow. And look, elephant's holding the book we're reading. Because it is watching grass grow. Exciting, let's read it. Boing, what was that? I think I just grew. Look. Wow. You look. They're measuring his growth. You did grow. Look at that. I just grew all by myself. Cool, huh? I know. I know. I made it look easy. Does she look very impressed by him? Right here it says, yawn. But growing is hard work and fat. Ping! Hey, I just grew. Wait, why do you think he's a little grumpy? Bam! Zap, beep, honk. What are they all doing? Yeah, they're growing too. We are all growing. You are growing tall. I am the tallest. He's the tallest. You are growing curly. I am the curliest. Silver. You're growing silly. I am the silliest. We are pointy. We are the pointiest. You are crunchy. I am the crunchiest. Look, he's crunching this little grass mite with his... Two little pieces of grass right here. He's going crunch, crunch. Mm. Pop! I am the dandiest. You are a dandelion. A weed! Meh, I've been called worse. So yeah, did you know that those yellow flowers that grow in grass are also weeds? They're called dandelions. Grass doesn't, don't look. The grass does not like to have dandelions. So, what are you, Walt? Me? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not the tallest, or the curliest, or the silliest, or the pointiest, or the crunchiest, or the dandiest. What am I? I don't know. How do you think he's feeling? Looking at his face, it looks like he would bite his fingernails if he had some. 
He's sweating. So I would say that he's nervous. If you agree, kiss your brain. I do not know what I am. Fun. Oh no, he's hitting his head on the ground. It's okay. We will help you. This is him right here laying down. I know. You are... Mm, never mind. Hey! Uh, yes? Maybe not. Alright, let me think. Bzz. So, what are you? Well, hurry up, Walt. Tell us. Come on. Think, Walt. Think. You can do it. So I'm looking at Walt and I see all the sounds from our lawnmower surrounding him. And he looks a little bit frustrated. I think he's having a hard time thinking because of the noise in the background. What happened? Okay, now's the time to make a prediction. Remember, a prediction is when we make a guess about what we already know to tell what is going to happen in the future. So what do you think is going to happen next? What is the prediction? Are they all going to be the same? Mm -hmm. Maybe not the same as they were, but they might be the same as each other. Let's see. Bzz, 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 bzz. What do you notice now? Is anybody the curliest? Is anybody the tallest or the crunchiest or the dandiest? Mm. Oh no! <coughs> what a mess! I am not the curliest anymore. I am not the tallest anymore. We are not the anythingest anymore. I want you to look at Walt. How's he feeling? Remember, Walt is this friend right here. Do not worry. You will grow again. We will? Yay! We will grow again. Grow, grow, grow. If you look, oh, wrong page, sorry. Those mites said that. The mites that were crunching on one piece of grass and he was helping crunch them and squish them. Before we grow, though, let's clean this place up. Hey, I think I know what I am. I am neat. So Walt says, I'm neat. I'm clean. You are neat. You are neat. You are so neat. You are the neatiest. I am the neatest. We are all the somethingest. This book is the funniest. Yeah, I love to read. Me too. The end. All right, so now I want you to look about, think about that book. They all were talking about something special about themselves. So what I would like for you to do is as soon as I'm done giving directions, I would love for you to press pause on the video. It's going to be down at the bottom. And I want you to get a piece of paper, whether it be out of your writing notebook or your blue notebook or just a piece of paper, paper in your house that, you're, that is okay for you to write on. And I want you to use those pencils and crayons Miss Leslie sent home with you. And I want you to go draw a picture and write a sentence telling me what you are. So if you feel like you're the smartest, draw a picture of you and you're doing something to show me you're smart. So maybe you draw your brain really big. Or maybe you want to draw a picture of you doing math or reading a book. Or if you say you're the funniest, maybe you'll draw me a picture of you telling a joke or being silly. Okay, I want you to think of something that you think that you are the best at. So like I said, smart, funny. You could say that we can't really do anything to match them. I wouldn't say that I'm the curliest. Maybe I might say my hair could be the curliest, which mine's not if you look mine straight-ish, kind of wavy. But just think of something you're really, really good at. And I want you to think of that describing word, that adjective. So smart, funny, silly, tall, short, whatever you want to do. And draw me a picture and write a sentence. Go ahead, press pause, and go get to work. 
Welcome back. I hope your picture and your writing went very, very well. If you would like, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever is there with you or has Miss Leslie on Remind, I would love if they took a picture and sent it to me. I want to see what you're working on, and I want to see those sentences to make sure we're still using those sight words, and you're still able to sound out and find those sounds and segment those words to help spell, okay? We're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to phonics. If you have a piece of paper, that is awesome. Get a piece of paper and get a pencil. And you can go ahead and write the words that we're blending and segmenting, okay? That way it will help you think about them. And we can continue using that knowledge to build other words. All right. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start with blending. Remember, when we blend, we're taking the sounds we know or the sounds that are given to us to make a word. So right now would be a really good time for you to get that pencil and paper so that we that you can write the sound, the letter that matches the sound I give you, and we can look at the words we're sounding out, okay? So go ahead. Your first sound I'm going to give you is a k. First sound, k. Next is a. A. Your last sound is t. So the sounds I gave you were k, at. Go ahead and look at that word and think for a minute. What word is that? Cat. You are right. We've got k, at. Now if we wanted to blend them together, not back together, we'd say k, a, cat, cat, cat. Great job. All right. Your next sounds are h, il, b. I, b. Now this word is not a real word. This is one of our nonsense words, so don't let it fool you. I, b. Go ahead and we're look. We should have an H, I, B. I, b. Hib. Great job. This next word is another nonsense word. Are you ready? Art. Art. Put them together. What sound? What word do you hear? Ah, thought, thought, thought. Job. All right. Our last word we're gonna blend. This is a real word, so we gotta listen closely. Art. Ah. You got it? What word is it? Hot. 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 Great job. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to give you the word. And you're going to segment the sounds and write them down. Okay? So remember, when we do this, I'm going to say, for example, if I use the word bus. Bus. You're going to stop. You're going to say b. Write down the letter that says b. Uh. Write down the letter that says ah. Uh. And then s. Bus. Write down what it says. And I want you to tell me what sound you hear. If you just did that for the word bus, you have written down a B, B, U, A, S. S, bus. Great job. Now you're going to try the next one on your own. This is a nonsense word, okay? So I want you to try your best. The word is duff. 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 All right. Here's what your words look like. D. A. Uh, duff. Great job. All right. Your next word is fed. Like I fed the cat. Fed. 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 All right. I think you got it. Here's what it looks like. You've got fed. Fed. Great job. Your next word is get. Like, please go get me a pencil. Get. 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 Right, here you go. There is get. We've got g, e, t, get. 
Great job today, everybody. If you have any other questions or if you need anything at all from me, go ahead and shoot me a message on Remind. Can't wait to see you next time.